Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah. For today's video, we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I don't know exactly what I want to do. I know I want to do a holiday slash Christmas makeup look, but yeah, that's really all I have in mind right now. So we're just going to see how it goes. So yeah, make sure to subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. And if you want to see what kind of makeup look I come up with, then just keep on watching. Don't mind my shirt. I'm still in my pajama shirt. Um, because I don't like doing my makeup in the shirt that I'm gonna wear. Maybe that's just me. We're gonna do like the skincare part. So usually they'll show really like what I do before I put on makeup. I kind of just go right into the makeup part. But we're gonna go ahead and show the skincare today. I really am just gonna do moisturizer and eye cream. But yeah, I want to show you. The first thing I'm going to do is put on a little bit of eye cream. This is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Puff. So this one's like a brand new one. And we're just going to put on a little eye cream before we start. You really want to make sure that you're moisturizing your skin, even if you're oily. Oily girls think that they don't need to moisturize, but sometimes your skin can be so oily because it's dehydrated and it's trying to make up for all the hydration it's not getting so it is producing more oil but make sure you are moisturizing your skin and also looking for moisturizers that are more targeted for oily skin so they're not too heavy and too much for your skin i really don't like to use um, a really heavy moisturizer during the daytime just because if I do put on makeup, it could just make my makeup super oily and just kind of slide around. And, um, I don't know. I just like to use more of a light moisturizer during the day. But right now, my skin is so dry. I don't know what is happening today, but it is feeling really, really dry. So, I'm going to go on with the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. So, I'm going to use this more of a moisturizer than a primer. I'm just going to rub this into the skin. Now, I always take um, some down my neck, and at night, I really lather it on. Like, I just think doing my skincare at night feels so good, and I really lather on moisturizer, especially on my neck, because it's never too early. I have, like, this weird, not rash, but it kind of happens every winter. It's almost like a, um, I don't know what you call it. It's just really, really red and irritated dry skin, so... I just have to be a little careful there. It kind of hurts a little, but show must go on. Last thing I'm going to do is moisturize our lips. So I'm going to use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And this is the Sweet Candy one. So I'm just going to put this on. This will really hydrate our lips and get them ready for our lip product. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do one eye off camera, figure out what I'm going to do, and then I'll come back and show you the other eye. So yeah, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I just finished this eye off camera, and we're just going to go ahead and do this eye. I've already primed and set. I used the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer and the Laura Mercier Powder to set the concealer. And now we're just going to go ahead and do the eye look. So the eye look overall is pretty simple. The only thing that makes it hard is the glitter. And I struggled a little. It didn't go exactly as I planned. But it's it's fine. It's fine. The perfectionist in me is not okay with it. But it's fine. To start off the eye look, I'm going to go in with my bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant Worth Bronzer in the shade In the Sun. I'm just going to take it on this big fluffy brush. This is a M531. This has became one of my favorite brushes for like my transition shade because it's such a big fluffy brush. It kind of just disperses the product really lightly and evenly. So we're just going to start blending this into the crease, going a little bit above my crease just to make our eyes look a little bit bigger. Okay, and then... So next I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and I'm going to go into um, Burnt Orange and I'm just going to take a little bit of this. I don't want it to get too warm. It's pretty much right where we put our bronzer is where we're going to take this. And then we're going to take um, a little bit of the Burnt Orange with 
the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag Palette and go into the shade Hunty. And we're just going to mix it with that burnt orange shade. Still using the same brush. And then I'm going to go in with a M441. This is just a little bit of a smaller um, blending brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Hunty just to kind of cool this down a little bit and make it a little bit more neutral. It's been so warm. Still going above our crease and just kind of creating our own crease. I'm going to go with the M433 and I'm going to go into the Soft Glam Palette again. And I'm just going to go in with Rustic and Cypress Umber, Cypress Umber and mix these two shades together. I don't want it to get too dark so I'm really going to pat these shades off and just start at the bottom and just work our way up. Keeping this on the outer V and then as we get more product off of the brush, we'll slowly go into the crease. And then we go back in with the M441 with no extra product and just blend. Okay, and now we're going to cut our crease. So I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more of my concealer. This is the M410. I use this to like carve out around my lips or my eyebrows. So we're just going to take this to cut our crease. It's like a flat definer brush. It's just a little bit longer than the flat definer brush. So we're just going to use this. take a oh this is just a flat shader brush this is a m166 and i'm going to a cake face from the lunar beauty palette it's just the white you can use whatever shade you want on the lid really and then i'm gonna go back in with my m441 and take a little bit more burnt orange and hunty and just kind of blend our edges and I'm going to take my M441 or no M433 take a little bit more of Cypress Umber and Rustic and just redefine the outer V a little bit now that we've done that we're going to do the glitter now this is optional if you don't want to do the glitter you don't have to you can just have this nice simple neutral makeup look but I want to add a little bit more Pizzazz. So I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. This is um, Urban Decay Heavy Metal. What is this called? I can't read it. Glitter Eyeliner? I don't know. Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy. This is almost like a gold silver glitter. And it's really perfect color for the holidays. So we're just going to go pretty much right on top of our crease. Right where we kind of cut it. We're just going on top of that. If it gets thick, it gets thick. And I got a little thicker than I wanted. So it's just like liquid liner. You gotta not let it smell your fear. So this side didn't turn out perfect either. But we're just going to fan it just to let it dry a little bit before we open our eyes. Just so they don't transfer. That's as good as you can. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara off camera. I'm just going to use the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. And then I'll just be right back. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the face. Um, first primer I'm going to use is the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I love this. It provides a nice hydration, but it never makes me oily. And then I'm going to do, actually I'm going to spray my face next with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Water. And this is the coconut one. I actually like the way this one smells a little bit better than the 
I mean, I said the coconut one. This is the cucumber one. I think this one smells a little bit better than, than the coconut one. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I'm just going to use the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer just to blur out the pores a little bit. Oh, that's a lot. You only need like a tiny little bit of this. A little bit definitely goes a long way. And with these like pore filling primers, I feel like if you use too much, they can kind of peel on you. So just make sure you go with just a little bit. And if you need more, then just add a little bit more. So, and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the face. So I'm gonna mix two foundations today, like I always do. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation in the shade Cloud. And I'm gonna mix it with the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation in the shade Cream. Cream? Cream? Um, I want a matte foundation, but I also want just a teensy little bit of glow. And I feel like I get that from the Laura Mercier. It's not dewy, it's just radiant, and I like the way that it looks. And it lasts really well on the skin. So I'm just going to mix those two. And I'm going to blend it in with my Real Techniques sponge. Also, I forgot to mention the good thing about the Urban Decay liners is they're not like glitter glitter. So they don't move throughout the day and they don't fall along your face. So it'll last well through um, all your little holiday dinner parties. So I watched Jackie Ina's makeup tour. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was like um, about like your makeup not lasting around your nose or getting oily and cakey. And she said not to apply foundation directly to your nose or and just kind of use concealer and I haven't been and I feel like it actually does help with my makeup lasting a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go with the Maybelline AJ Wine Concealer and just I'm actually gonna apply this with a little bit of a concealer brush. This is the M224. I'm not putting this directly under my eyes, I'm just placing it a little bit below it. Okay, and I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna let this sit just for a little bit, just for a second or two, and then we'll come back and blend it out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start blending this out. I'm just gonna take the same little techniques sponge. I'm actually going to take a little um, concealer blending brush. I really don't know what you would call this. This little brush is it's a M173. I like to use it around my eyebrows and my nose. Just so I can blend some of the product. I'm not as obsessed with this concealer as I feel like I used to be. I feel like it's a little dark for me. So I'm gonna go with my L'Oreal Full Wear Concealer and just add a couple dots. I don't wanna add a lot more coverage. I just wanna brighten it a little. My nose needs a little extra coverage. Makeup is just not wanting to go around my nose. I guess where it's just so dry, but that's as good as the base is getting right now. So we're going to set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm gonna take my sponge, I forgot. But we're gonna go ahead and do some bronzer. I was gonna use the Fenty Beauty bronzer. I use that one all the time. But I'm gonna go in with a M405 and go in with the Benefit Hula Light bronzer. 
and just do a slight contour. This brush has a really nice angle to it, so it really allows you to get into your cheekbones. And I'm going to take a bigger brush. This is the M527. I did wash all of my brushes, by the way, just so I could dirty them up all over again. But I'm going with the Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Bronzer. This is a lot warmer, and I really love to use this just to um, warm up the face and add a little bit more color. But I just use a little bit just so it doesn't get too warm. Because I'm so fair, it can get really warm on me. try something a little bit different. I'm going to mix um, my powders. I've seen Harush talk about mixing her powders. So I'm going to mix the Laura Mercier, what is this called? Translucent Loose Setting Powder and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder. Um, the Fenty Beauty one is definitely more of a brightening shade while this one's more just mattifying and setting. So I'm just going to mix these two together and bake underneath my eyes. So it's going to take out a little of the Fenty, a little of the Laura Mercier, tap it on. And I'm also just going to use Laura Mercier underneath my contour, just because I don't really care as much to be brightened under there. I'm just mostly just cleaning up my bronzer. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes. I'm really not going to do much on the lower lash line. I'm just going to go into the Soft Glam Palette and take a M506 and go in with Burnt Orange and a little bit of Rustic maybe. And then I'm just going to take a um, little pencil brush and take a little bit of Cypress Umber and just put that a little closer to the lash line. And I'm going to take my brush. As I saw... Um, what okay so i'm gonna go ahead and push this powder into the skin i normally would probably let it bake a little bit longer but since i'm not going anywhere i'm just gonna go ahead and start working it in and then i'm gonna um take a e3 and just lightly like with the lightest pressure just blend out any of the excess powder we're not wanting to take off any of the coverage or brightness that it added. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I really like the way those two look together. I feel like it's mattified, but it's brightened. So yeah, I really like that. Okay, so now, I'm so excited. So I have the new Jaclyn Hill, the Flash palette. What's this called? Oh wait. The Jaclyn Hill The Flash Highlighter Palette. I don't know. I think it's like the Accent Lighting Palette. I don't know. Something like that. But anyway, so I've had this for probably about a week. And I've used it only once or twice, I think. But I have loved every time I've used it. So this is what it looks like. How oh, beautiful. I love that it's all mirrored. But yeah, these are super pretty. I'm trying not to blind you. But the whole thing's mirrored. So it's kind of hard not to. But... I really have been loving this. I think it just looks so nice on the skin and it sits really well on the skin and blends in well. I don't know. I really do like it. I think she did a really good job on it. No matter how you feel about Jacqueline, if you bought the palette, it's pretty good. So I'm going to spray my face with the Wet n Wild Cucumber Spray. This will just help the highlights to go on a little bit better. Can I please? 
And I'm going to go with my Anastasia HU3 brush. I didn't buy her brushes, but I'm just going to mix all three of these together. Also, I don't immediately put on the highlight after I spray my face. I like to get a little bit just to soak in and then I'll apply it. Like you kind of want to do like the happy medium. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply blush. So I have the, I have two blushes. I have the Anastasia Peachy Love Blush and I have the Rosé Blush. Um, actually, I think I'm going to use the Anastasia one today. I don't usually wear peach blush, but we're gonna. So I'm kind of just gonna mix all three of them on a E4 brush. And I'm just gonna start at my temple and sweep down. This is my new favorite way to apply blush. I just feel like it looks really, I don't know, it just looks really nice on the skin. I've seen that this is how Scott Barnes likes to highlight so okay that was a lot i'm just gonna go back in with my sponge and blend out a little bit so the other so another thing that i did the other day that i really liked is i went back in with the jaclyn hill highlighting palette and i went in with this um i don't know it's called mesmerize it's like a pinky gold kind of shade i don't know really i don't know how to describe it but I don't know if I'll ever use it as highlight, but I'm going to just use a tiny little bit as a blush, like a tiny bit, and just kind of apply it to the apples. And I'm just going to spray my face one more time with the Milani Make It Last Matte Setting Spray. Spray on this one, it's a little messed up. That's okay. And what am I gonna do now? What am I doing? Oh, okay. See, I didn't contour my nose, I forgot. So I'm gonna go with my Hoola Light Bronzer and I'm just gonna go in with like a little bit. I'm just gonna add a little color to my nose more than like contour it. Kind of like I always do. Nothing crazy. You probably couldn't even tell a difference, but I can. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of lower lash mascara, just using the same L'Oreal one. I'm gonna go in with the MAC Half Red Lipstick. You can use, I mean, half red lipstick, half red lip liner. You can pretty much do whatever lip you want with this, but I wanna do red just to keep it all holiday and Christmassy. I'm gonna go with Dose of Colors Brick. Actually, I've changed my mind again. We're gonna mix the two. So I'm actually gonna apply a little bit of Los Angeles kind of over it. Just to lighten it up a hint. So I'm going to go ahead and go change my shirt and that's pretty much all I'm going to do and then I'll come back and finish up this video. Okay, okay guys, so that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you're going to recreate this look and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.